we finally have the new board for this guy for the Symbio 700 for this train unit it's down but we have the new board right here for a Symbio 700 controller so let's go ahead and get started on swapping this guy out and uh, yeah let's get started Go ahead and grab the new one. Okay. All we gotta do now is just connect everything back. was and how it, how it was Always want to double check and triple check that you don't have any of those connections or connections that are hanging just to be sure. So we go over here. These are 24 volts. Make sure it's nice and tight. This brown wire is our ground. The green wire is our G or our indoor motor, indoor blower motor. Y is our cooling, our AC. And W. See, that's why we always gotta take it, we always gotta double check. This one is G for our indoor, and then the third terminal block is our heating, and this one is gas, so we don't have a heat pump. Okay, so 
Now let's go ahead and give the system power. There we go. We never got this before. Never got this this uh, this setting right here saying that it was booting up or anything like that. So that's perfect. We never got a green LED light. So just look, it looks like we're in. Uh, looks like we might be in business right now. So. Always good to double check. So now we go into the Symbio app. We try to connect to our Bluetooth. That's the little LED we had earlier, but it was just solid blue. We never had this little green LED. Okay, so got the new board installed in there, right? Uh, it's just open just because I was double checking everything else. Um, but what we have to do now is try to come into this guy and uh, get all the configuration from this board, pretty much transfer it to that board. <clears throat> just to double check, because uh, when these boards, when you get them, they're uh, not configured. You have to configure them themselves or yourself, right? So you, these units are pretty much the same. Uh, they were installed at the same time, so they had the same unit, same board, Symbio 700. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to grab everything from this board, all the configuration, go to that board, connect to that board, and hopefully try to get it to go, um, you know, one by one. So, it is a president. Take a screenshot of that. Configuration screen. There you go. Edit. Let me see if we can. Gallery. Recent screenshots. So the screen system type is a CVZT. CVCT. Space controller. Conventional T stat. Refrigeration system. It is a cooling only. Refrigerant is R410A. Voltage is a 208, 230, and a 60. 208, 230, and 60. Tonnage, six ton. Refrigeration circuit, single manifold. Single manifold. Efficiency is standard if that comes up right now. So you see what I mean? You just gotta go one by one. There we go system is i don't know why it's on heating right now but i gotta go down there and uh put it back to cooling um but yeah let me go down there put it to cooling make sure that we're running and then uh should be good to go but yeah pretty much that's what you got to do every time you get a new board that's a symbio 700 just go hopefully you have another unit that's close by if not you might have to call train or maybe in their manual you'll be able to find it if it even says in there what kind of unit it is but like you saw in the configuration it could be for a lot of different type of units. Um, but yeah, let's go down there. Cool, uh, call for cool, come up here. And then uh, should be good to go. All right, guys. So we're cooling. System is up and running. As you guys can hear the compressor is on. The fan is spinning. I already 
check temperatures in here. So that's why I put a little bit of tape just to cover it up. But uh, but yeah, guys, the system has been running for a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, it seems like we're good. Up and running. Just remember, every time you guys have to replace the Symbio 700 board, remember to always, 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 hopefully have another unit exactly like it next to it. If not, then you might have to call train technical support to see if they can help you set up the board but you guys let me do it on the app it's nothing too crazy um but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it i would appreciate it if you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, comment down below what you guys think of these uh of these new boards where the technology is taking us nowadays so um but yeah that would be it for today's video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.